Hey guys, uh, pre-market this morning is uh, declining. So where is the market going? Let's take a look. This is the spider SPY tracing the uh, S&P 500 index. Uh, they move uh, in the same way. So you can see that recently there has been a very great run. Usually it goes as a S shape. Okay, you see the first leg of S and now the second leg of S. So uh, from this uh, pattern, it seems that the market has topped at a local high. Okay, so um, I don't mean universally the, this will be the peak in next uh, six months, but locally. So uh, I'm sure it is going down. So by how much? Uh, so this is a Fibonacci retracement uh, gauging tool. Okay, so we can take a look. So uh, there are different uh, price target levels. And here there's a trend line. And also at uh, around uh, 454, there's a strong support level. Then in the next while, it is quite likely that the pullback will touch the first Fibonacci uh, target. That is uh, at uh, 460. It may also come down to the next support level and also Fibonacci level. That is above 454. So then uh, it could go like this, like, okay by those uh, Fibonacci retracement level or even down to 100% Fibonacci level. So you see now uh, the economy is recovering. However, there are a lot of worries like the inflation the labor shortage, uh, the chip shortage, uh, supply chain disruption. So uh, if you go to a department store or you go to a grocery store, you can see that uh, the shelves are like one third or it depends on which store, what day you go. They are partly empty they don't look like before. Before, like uh, the shelves were always fully uh, displayed by goods, by stuff. So this kind of uh, economy, some say it is transitory. Uh, we don't know how long it will last. So, uh, so then under this condition, as retail traders, what should we do? Let me show you. Profitable way is to do swing trading, not buy and hold. You can check charts, okay? You can check like 50 charts, uh, 100 charts, 200 charts. So most of stocks are going up and down. So the Sustainable uh, long term up trending stocks are quite rare. So, you see, one example is Tesla. So, now in the United States, in the stock market, there are more than 8,000 stocks. So, how many Teslas have you ever identified? Quite rare. The probability, the possibility to buy one of those stocks is quite low. Like in the Dow Jones, there are 30 stocks. 30 stocks versus uh, more than 8,000 stocks. So you, I think from your own experience, you should know that swing trading is the way. So here I have two uh, ETFs. Okay, it is uh, direct and daily small cap, both three times. ETF. So this is to trace uh, the uh, Russell 2000 small cap index by a daily move of three times. It is, it is changing a lot of faster 
than the market index. Okay, so then this one TZA is is uh, inverse ETF. So one goes up, the other goes down. Okay, so from this chart, it is very clear that this is the top. It has gone up so much. So there are two conditions you should sell. One is it it goes against your expectation. Then you sell. You should never be watching your stock declining. The other selling condition is that when it reaches a top, like what? Like for instance, if you bought this somewhere, then now it is topping. You sell. Let's look at uh, TZA again uh, under a trading view. Okay, so it is clear. It is so clear. Uh, it is uh, at its bottom. See, you can check. The way to understand this uh, is to check uh, the price move. Okay, look how many days you have. Uh, the opportunity to buy, like only three or four days. Look here, it is always like this. A small pullback, then it goes up. Okay, look. So now it is like this. So you see the pre-market, the yellow dot line. It is higher. So the the best buying opportunity could be uh, the day before yesterday. Okay. This is uh, yesterday. Uh, then, so you should be alert to buying opportunity in the next uh, several days, maybe within the, this week. Okay, now it is in the morning of uh, before market open, the pre market, it is going up. So, uh, I just said that I recommend to buy it uh, as. Uh, around here okay then let's have a look for instance you bought it here and what happened look it is still looks good then it came down this is very powerful then uh, you should have set up a sell on stop starts around here then you sell it look it is so powerful it came down until yesterday so in my video, I keep telling you guys that if you buy a stock, then it goes down against your expectation. Sell it. Don't buy and hold. Then you sell it. You don't use your money to buy anything else. You hold your money to wait to buy back the same stock at the next dip. So that is the way to do swing trading. Okay. So if you failed at one opportunity, the next opportunity, the probability of uh, correct uh, is very high. So you sell this, you sell it here, then you buy it back yesterday, today, and within the next several days. So this is the way to do swing trading. Uh, good luck until next time.